Hi, this is Sanjay Gangal from ADA Cafe. I'm here with Trevor Polidor, new product development leader at Rogers Corporation. Uh, hello, Trevor. Hi, Sanjay. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so tell us about Rogers Corporation. Yeah, so Rogers Corporation, we're a, a very old company, been around since the 1830s. Um, and wow. we're a specialty materials company. Uh, mainly, we develop uh, specialized materials for the electronics industry. And so we have a diversified product line of um, anything from polyurethane and silicone foams that will go into things like electric vehicle battery packs, all the way to um, specialized high frequency circuit materials. So um, circuit boards used for applications like automotive radar and 5G. And that's the group I represent, that advanced electronics solutions business unit uh, that develops materials for radio frequency communications. And uh, what new products are you offering now? Yeah, so um, we're actually introducing some really cool new products. Um, most recently, we announced that um, we've developed and are releasing the first um, RF material, radio, radio frequency material for 3D printing specifically. And so um, we're really excited about um, this technology because uh, typically we've been making uh, circuit board materials um, you know, for, for decades. And really, this is our first foray into uh, uh, truly a, another dimension, a third dimension, since we've um, had our, our circuit engineers and circuit designers in the industry working on 2D materials. Um, and so we're releasing uh, this new product uh, at the IPC Apex Expo um, this year in 2022. Very cool. And uh, what is different about the Rogers uh, 3D printable materials? Yeah, so um, typically 3D printing materials have been uh, developed for uh, mechanical applications and there are some specialty engineering materials, but historically there's um, never been a material developed with good electrical properties for um, RF applications. And so um, being a specialty materials company, we, we saw the issues um, that um, you know, circuit designers were having uh, being constrained to things like regular printed circuit board um, designs. And we thought there would be a good opportunity to give them that extra degree of freedom and design in the third dimension by making a 3D printable material. But we didn't see one out um, available in the market with good properties for RF applications. And so um, our material tries to um, not only have um, a controlled dielectric constant, a very low dielectric loss at microwave frequencies, but also has other good secondary properties for, for end use applications. So it's a really robust material, things like uh, low water absorption and control thermomechanical properties for, for reliability. And so um, we're really happy about introducing this product because it's uh, the first one I think that really um, targets our application space and industry. And uh, what sort of applications do you see utilizing these materials? Yeah, so um, first and foremost, I think, uh, you know, the, the more obvious ones are in uh, volumetric or three-dimensional circuits. Um, you know, we've seen customers uh, for, for a long time try to do really complicated things with our 2D materials, our, our laminate materials, um, and other laminate materials available on the market um, to get the benefit of, of designing a circuit in three dimensions, things like bending them and conforming them to other, other materials, um, making very high uh, uh, layer count PCBs and circuit boards. And so, you know, we see that that is a big application space and truly three dimensional uh, circuits for, for RF applications. And, and those can be in things from um, satellite applications where you're constrained with design space all the way to, um, applications like 5G, where you can make some really complicated uh, antenna structures to enhance the performance of your antenna systems. Um, but in addition, a, a lot of aer aerospace and defense applications, um, really where, where C-SWAP, that, that design freedom is, is advantageous for really complex uh, antenna systems. Um, you can now make a, a lot of different shaped antennas to get some really unique performance. So it's a pretty broadly applicable um, material and kind of, uh, you know, a totally new uh, way for RF engineers to work. And how do you see the 3D printing changing the RF industry? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, a lot of classic circuit designs and, and um, 
things that have been around in industry for decades, you know, they may change now that we have um, these techniques, not only are, you know, are Rogers new uh, 3D printable materials, but um, with all the development around different um, additive manufacturing systems um, and the prototyping cycle getting much quicker, um, we're going to see a lot of really complicated uh, designs that I don't think uh, PCB designers or RF engineers could even envision, you know, decades ago. There's been a lot of, you know, classic designs taught, um, and it's a combination of uh, new technology like this material, but also computational tools, design tools like simulation uh, software that'll really come together and um, just just totally change the way people design circuits. I think for these applications. Wow. And I would say. Uh, set up any partnerships in the 3D printing space? Yeah, so um, we definitely see, you know, the benefit of having uh, uh, strong partnerships in this space as a materials company. Um, you know, we're great at making new materials for electronics applications, but, um, you know, the 3D printing space specifically is uh, a, new, a new place for us. And so we partnered with a company um, called Fortify out of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, that produces printer printing equipment and software designed for um, engineering applications. So these are really um, high-end materials, challenging uh, uh, materials to print generally. Um, we partnered with them to kind of provide a complete solution for, for manufacturing these materials. Um, you know, it's not as easy as just uh, uh, putting in any new material into any 3D printer. There's some nuance there, and we want to make sure um, our customers succeed in manufacturing with this new material, so that they can focus on designing something you know the world's never seen before, and they don't have to worry about all the complexities of uh, you know design for manufacturing and those sorts of things uh, when we have this total you know three dimensional freedom. And uh, do you allow uh, the designers to simulate? Uh, uh, your 3D printed materials uh, with this particular 3D printer? Yeah, so, you know, we provide support in, on the simulation side as well, um, not only just to give them, you know, material properties to put in their simulations and software, um, but to, uh, you know, actually uh, support these complex structures are actually, it's, it's a good question, they're challenging sometimes to, to simulate and set up uh, in simulation. So we also help support our customers um, to make sure in simulation that it works the way they want to and it will behave like it will um, in, in the end application. So uh, yeah, definitely. And, and that applies to both electrical, mechanical and thermal simulations? Yeah, so we've also done a lot of uh, characterization on the uh, uh, thermal properties and mechanical properties as well. So, so definitely, I think all three, um, you know, be in a good position to support. Okay, and uh, uh, how, uh, what do you see uh, is the future uh, development in this space? Yeah, so um, excellent question. Um, you know, we're really at kind of a, a new generation now of, of 3D printing. Um, and uh, for the RF industry, you know, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of complex designs. And so um, this technology specifically, I think, you know, Roger specifically, we're gonna uh, be developing new versions of the material, different dielectric constants to support um, other designs. Um, also maybe some, some other versions of the material for, uh, you know, uh, different uh, applications in the environment. So more thermal um, resistance and, and secondary properties like that. Um, but I think overall the technology as a whole with our printing partners um, <clears throat> and some of the the design tools that we have and we're partnered with, um, we're gonna see um, just a lot more flexibility in being able to create uh, new shapes and being able to uh, simulate them, simulate with them, as you mentioned, um, make bigger, larger, more complex things. And um, I mean, that's really gonna change uh, not only this industry, but our society probably when a lot of these systems um, like 5G millimeter waves specifically and um, you know, satellite communications, um, they really become more economical and more attainable um, when you can design uh, uh, such complex uh, uh, antenna systems and other RF systems that would really hinder the rollout of those technologies today. And what is the best way for our audience to find out more about uh, your uh, uh, new uh, materials on the internet? 
Yeah, so um, you can visit our website, uh, rogerscorp.com, R-O-G-E-R-S-C-O-R-P.com. Um, we have uh, information there on the new 3, 3D printable um, materials, as well as um, you can visit um, our partner's website, Fortify, at 3dfortify.com. Okay, and, and Trevor, uh, it okay if I ask you a couple of personal questions? Yeah, definitely, of course. Okay, uh, so what do you do for fun outside work or what is your personal passion? Yeah, um, well, I, I love being outdoors and, and being here and based out of Arizona. Um, do a lot of hiking, try to get outdoors uh, as much as I can, um, except in the summers here. That can be uh, pretty brutal, so I try to mm -hmm. find somewhere else to go uh, where we can all be outside. So. And uh, what, is, is, uh, what are some of your favorite uh, hiking destinations? Yeah, so I love how out here in the West, we have tons of great national uh, parks, um, Zion and uh, Glacier up in Montana. Those are probably my my two favorite. I had a really great experience at both and just feels like you're on another planet. It's uh, <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, did you do angel landing? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Definitely the first uh, hike that gives you uh, some of that anxiety of falling off. So uh, that was fun. But um, really great, just that view at the top. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, uh, I love Zion uh, National Park. I haven't been to Glacial National Park yet, but I would love to get out there as well. Yeah, I would recommend for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, and and uh, uh, Trevor, can you also tell us uh, something about yourself that most people at Rogers Corporation who work with you don't know about you? Yeah, so I actually, you know, originally, um, you know, my background's in, in chemical engineering and um, I've been working in this material science space for a long time, but, um, you know, early on in my career, I was also, also uh, you know, uh, uh, an app developer. I was a, an iOS app developer and I made uh, games on the side, you know, for iPhones uh, that uh, was, a, was a hobby of mine. And so I was studying chemical engineering, doing computer science on the side, and I think uh, that would surprise a lot of my colleagues with the amount of time spent in the, the lab here. So it's pretty, uh, pretty funny you ask that. <laughs> uh, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Trevor, for taking time to record this interview. Have a great day and stay safe. Thanks, Sanjay. Appreciate it. Take care. Uh, and this is Sanjay Gangal from EDA Cafe.